that's again because the ocean's right on the other side so mm. that is not getting directly hit by the salt spray by the wind yeah it looks just like um like yeah exactly like a field see these all all these gray berries these are the bay berries You can't eat bayberries. The only thing that can digest bayberries are swallows. So in the fall, when they're ripe, hundreds of swallows fly around out here and they'll descend down on a bayberry bush. It's so neat to see them yeah. out here. This is um, our only puddle that hasn't dried up, but that's fresh water. So when you see them pumping fresh water from the well, it kind of comes out kind of a light brown color, like the color of wheat tea, and that's just the iron in the water. This is all uh, beach heather. Now in June, it had like yellow flowers on it, and it should have white flowers. Um, I don't really see it flowering yet. Um, but beach heather doesn't like to have other plants grow around. You can see it's kind of clumped all by itself. Um, and its roots send off toxins to discourage other plants. are in water they don't actually get submerged in water just in time for Thanksgiving you can come out and pick cranberries. Now this used to be a kind of beer and water and lots of tadpoles. And as we go around see this shack here it's like a house kind of it's like the biggest one out of all that's the Philip Malico shack. Now that's the one shack that's different from all the other shacks. That shack will stay in the Malico family forever. Philip Malico came here in 1929 and he bought this 17 acre plot of land, that narrow strip of land, from the east end of Commercial Street all the way up to where that shack sits. And he bought that for $500 back in 1929. Um, so that's the difference. He bought the land and he owns the land, which none of the other shack owners own the land that their shacks sit on. So when the government came in in 1961, he had to deed the land. And there's also a foundation under the shack that was built, which deems it a permanent structure. So that shack will be in his family uh, forever. And the Malico family has been here ever since he came here in 1929. Uh, it's a family of artists, masons, very artistic, uniquely artistic people. Um, um, if you've ever been to the Red Inn, they did the fireplace at the Red Inn. Uh, Nappies, they did the, a wall at Nappies Restaurant. They also did, uh, they've done residential fireplaces around town. It's a very unique artists. So people live out here like every day, not just like... Not every day. They don't live here all the time. Um, here's a residential fireplace uh -huh. and then the wall at Nappies. Here's your bear berries. So the people who have um, win the lottery cut stay for a week. The artists in residency are two weeks. The people who own their shacks can come out here and stay for a night if they want. Um, there's no limit to how long